I've discovered an issue when importing images into the parent level fluid box in a responsive design project in Adobe Captivate. And I thought I'd share it with you along with my workaround to deal with this issue. Uh, my goal with this particular project here is that uh, I want it to be able to be fully responsive uh, specifically for an iPad so that when viewers are looking at the iPad in landscape mode, they'll see uh, a full size image of that background image. But when they rotate it to portrait, it will work as well. So I've cropped my background image to be 1024 by 1024. It should accommodate both different uh, orientations. So what I'm going to do at this point here is I'm going to select uh, my parent level fluid box and I'm going to select an image fill and we'll just use the folder icon to select it. I'm going to go to my desktop. Now here's the background image. It's the city line of Chicago already cropped at 1024 by 1024. Uh, so when I import this, I'm expecting it to come in at 1024 by 1024. When I click on open, I see the uh, resize crop image window appear. And you'll notice, of course, that um, the image size here does say 1024 by 1024, but it does say fit to stage here. So I'm a little concerned about that. Your instinct might be to select crop and then simply make sure that the entire image is selected. Uh, and then in theory, it should come in at the full resolution. But I'll show you what happens when I click OK. You'll notice that it's tiled and I'm seeing multiple copies of the same image here, depending on where you look. Uh, if I go to my library panel and find that image, and if we double click on it, we'll see, of course, the image properties window. And if you look down here in dimensions, you can see that Captivate has resized it to 698 by 698. This isn't what I had in mind. So my workaround is very simple. After you've imported it the first time this way, what I'm going to do is I could choose either update or import. I'll choose update in this case here. And we'll click on desktop where it's saved and I'll re-import it. Now this time it's gonna come in at the full 1024 by 1024 and you'll see the results of that. So now of course every instance where I've used this image throughout my e-learning project it will be the full 1024 by 1024 and give me the desired results that you see here. Let's test it out. Let's do a preview on my iPad using live preview on device. And there you can see that, um, you know, I got the full height and width of the image that I'm hoping to have here. But for those users who might rotate their device, they'll get a beautiful full-size 1024 height image as well. So that works out. And this will be the way, and unless Adobe decides to uh, change the way the uh, image import works for fluid boxes, this is how I'll be dealing with that moving forward. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com, follow me on Twitter at CaptivateTeacher, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.